idea because we had talked about how enslaved uh, people are in general and us specifically uh, with, uh, with debt. And uh, there was one of our members who was uh, in debt to the point where she was never going to be, be able to pay it off because she could only afford the minimum. So she's paying interest essentially on a debt that would never be retired. And uh, the thought was, that's not good. <laughs> and so we, uh, we, one night we had everybody write down their indebtedness on a piece of paper. No, no details, no names attached. And we determined that the group was half a million dollars in debt. Fairly uh, substantial amount of money. And uh, so the thought was, let's say that it was only 10% interest on that debt, which is, of course, ridiculous. But that's $50,000. That's a lot of money. You could do a lot for the kingdom if that money wasn't being poured into the financial system. So the thought was, well, why don't we start with the one who has the highest debt, and let's start paying it down. And then when that debt is paid off, they can continue paying a substantial portion of what they're already paying, but they can pay the next person's debt down. And so you get this kind of rolling, get this kind of rolling uh, momentum going where somebody's debt's paid off, and so then they stop paying on that, and then they reduce the amount that they're paying, but pay somebody else's. And so we started just cascading down that way, starting out with the highest amounts, and the highest interest, and then moving down towards student loans and that kind of thing. And so as a group, we started paying them off. An amazing thing began to happen. Uh, people started coming into money from other sources. It was almost like, it was almost like the Lord was uh, doing matching funds. <laughs> you know, So the more faithful we were to pay things off, one of the couples got, one couple got married and received a windfall wedding gift that they never would have imagined they were able to pay off some debts that they they uh, didn't uh, didn't anticipate, and that's the kind of thing that happened <clears throat> until we finally paid off everything but mortgages, and um, just figured, what the heck? That's who we are. That's what we should be doing. And um, in the meantime, there was uh, another situation where somebody was going to have to go into debt to get a roof put on their house. We said, well, that ain't going to fly. So we uh, took that on too, so they wouldn't have to go into debt. And um, we did that, and uh, we've done that to one degree or another ever since. Now, each one of the house churches also has uh, the Summit Fellowships, Inc. behaves kind of like a, an association in the, uh, probably at the, down at the, the state offices, we look like a church. When we're really multiple churches with a single account, a single a uh, single 501c3 so we can operate at that level. And then what each, uh, the way we operate financially, now this is kind of a shift from the DERP, <laughs> the debt reduction thing, but this kind of gives you a glimpse of how we handle things financially. Uh, anytime someone gives, unless it's designated otherwise, it goes into a ministry account, a ministry fund. It's like a line item in our in the bank and that money sits there until the group decides what the Lord would have us have them do with it. So, um, most recently, and I'm really, really kind of excited about this. Uh, most recently, we got word one of the house churches, Roseway, as it turns out, one of the house churches got word that there was a church in Southern California that was working to get some of the kidnapped girls from Chibok. Um, uh, you remember when Boko Haram kidnapped 200 uh, Christian schoolgirls? Well, some of them have, many of them have been released, but they're kind of a pariah uh, in their villages and their tribes. And uh, so four of them need, are, have been kind of adopted by a, a church in Southern California, in uh, Gardena, actually. And they let us, they, they put the word out that they were going to try to do this or going to possibly need, need some help. So uh, I went ahead and forwarded that to the, the group at Roseway, the house church, and said, is this something we're interested in helping with? And everybody prayed about it and said, yeah, let's, let's help. 
And so we got uh, one night when we were gathered, we said, well, how much should we give? Some a couple of people said 5,000. Someone, someone else said, no, no, I think we ought to give 10. So last week I made out a check for 10,000 bucks and we sent it to, uh, sent it to uh, church of the servant King in Southern California uh, to help bring the Chibok girls uh, to, to the United States for education and, uh, and training and, and, and restoration. And there's another group called Refuge. They, uh, they have adopted a, a, house, a housing situation for, for families in transition. They basically take care of a room uh, from when a family moves in, all of the furnishings and stuff go with them when they move out. And Refuge furnishes the room, takes care of it uh, for them. Uh, for, and that's one of their projects. Another project they have, they work with something called Fields of Life, which provides uh, sustaining resources for, for poor villages, I believe, in Uganda. Um, so digging wells, buying pigs, uh, the kind of thing that will continue to sustain them. And so they do that. We just, they, just told, they just asked to release about, what was it, 6000 bucks for, uh, for, for that. Um, so that's kind of an overview. Of, uh, that, that's focusing on finances, but that's how things operate. And we don't have any fo- we don't have any paid staff or anything, so um, we don't have any buildings to support. Our overhead is pretty minimal, so we just set money aside until the Lord tells us where to put it. Wow, that's just phenomenal. Well, it's kind of fun. <laughs> yeah, yeah, really fun and, and less stressful, I would think. Yeah. Oh, I, it's 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 wonderful not to have to worry about that. Yeah. You know, because that's but that's what we do. So uh, every other, and the house churches don't have to use the the bank account. They can do it on their own, as far as that goes. Mm-hmm. One of the reasons we incorporated was so that individual house churches could have some of the benefits of being a church without having to everybody get, get their own five hundred one c three and all of that stuff, which is just a waste of time and energy when we can operate kind of like an association. Yeah. So that's that's why we actually did that. So. Well, Dan, thank you so much for sharing that story. That <laughs> well, it's beautiful. it's fun. Yes, yes, that is just that is a beautiful thing.